Where to, miss? London! Oh, good show! Ship speaking. The whole scheme was a failure. And also, Dr. Noah knows what you've been up to. What now? You just have to raise the money. <laughs> but how? How? By playing Baccarat. Uh, but, but Le Chiffre, uh, what about me? Uh, what, what is going to happen to me? La banque. It's amazing, he never loses. La banque gagne. La partie est terminée. Quiet. Absolute silence, please. For this experiment, I require the assistance of a young lady from the audience. Any lady at all, you madam? Look me in the eyes. And you, George, keep your eyes on my chips. I present you with the levitation of the Princess Aisha. An illusion taught to me by an ancient vegetarian in the mountain fastnesses of Tibet. She feels no pain. My assistance will enshroud the young lady in this perfectly ordinary paisley shawl. Now will you all place your hands on the table? Oh. Now let's get the show off the ground. Oh. Keep your hand in place, madam, and continue to ascend. To the air. Don't take your eyes from her, not one of you. It is by your perfect concentration that the young lady remains floating in thin air. Oh, excuse me, madam. Sorry to keep you hanging around. <laughs> He's bought the bank for the evening and is winning consistently and showing off with his magic throughout. Why the dark glasses? Here. So, uh, if Le Chiffre wears the same kind of glasses, he knows every card on the table. Oh, yes, infrared glasses. <laughs> Who's a cheat? Monsieur, faites vos jeux. I believe you have my name in a crevice. Yes, Bond. Pardon, monsieur? Uh, Bond. Uh, James Bond. Oh, yes, Mr. Bond. Bond. James Bond? Your name is familiar. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Though I'm flattered you've heard of me. I have heard of you, but not as an expert on Baccarat. Well, I'm sorry you weren't told. I think that went unnoticed, Mr. Bond. I see everything that goes on at this table. Nothing escapes me. I'm quite sure it doesn't. But you know, we mustn't forget that the beggar who is sitting in the marketplace is completely deaf in so much as far as listening to the song that is coming from the mockingbird is concerned. I'm sorry, Mr. Bond, I don't get the connection. Ah, you will, you will. 
Sim Salabim. When you're quite ready. For my next experiment, I require the use of a perfectly ordinary gentleman's pocket handkerchief. From the pocket of one perfectly ordinary gentleman. That's the, the kind of remark that leads to war. How much better for all humanity if all the nations could learn to live together in peace. Oh, marvelous, marvelous. Hooray! Hooray! Mob! Hooray! 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 Oh, I, that's finished, is it? Oh, fantastic, wonderful. Incredible, incredible, Listen, absolutely marvelous. I've never seen anything like it. And now, if you're ready, Monsieur Le Chief, I would like to play Baccarat. I use the Evelyn Tremble method. Oh, you read Tremble. <laughs> I thought he'd only published a few paperback editions. Yeah, well, I have an autographed first edition. It's a bit dog-eared now, mind you. I've been through it a few times, but it nevertheless has a certain uninformed quality. Six à la ponte and neuf à la ponte. Yes, Aren't you a little out of your depth, Mr. Vaughan? In the last 20 minutes, I have ruined two Greeks and a Maharaja. No, Mr. Vaughan, we aren't playing for marbles. The night is young, and the rose garden is already littered with my victims. Yes, but the beggar who set in marketplace are deaf to song of Nightingale. You amuse me, Mr. Vaughan. I'm glad you're enjoying me. <laughs> 